So we're going to kick this video off with a little series that I like to call Road to Brian actually getting a decent kill on me in PvP. <laughs> That's a joke. It hasn't happened yet. So I'm going to start this video off with a couple things. Uh, first thing, I'm sick right now. And so if I sound a little nasally or under the weather or however you want to put it, I'm sorry. Uh, and second thing, I'm going to drag my switches in this video. I'm going to fuck up my inventory as much as I can because I just got a new mouse actually and I'm still getting a little adjusted to it. If you're wondering what mouse I went with, I actually chose the Zowie FK1 thanks to OG Salad. Um, I'll put his name up on the screen. But uh, he suggested this one and uh, so I went and did a little bit of research on it, bought it, and I'm actually really liking it. So if you're wondering what this video is going to consist of, it is not a holiday video. I was actually, I just got back in town um being out of town for christmas and so i decided not to make a christmas video because i'm not willing to sacrifice my strength bonus gains to wear a stupid fucking sand hat and call it a christmas video but anyway a couple of videos ago when i asked you guys to recommend some stuff to talk about um this guy named foster the lobster said a uh, cool name by the way well he says that i should talk about college life or something like that and i kind of interpret that as like stories uh things that have happened to me experiences all that stuff those are all synonymous terms but i felt the need to say all of them so let's bust into it uh story time with ian episode one once upon a time there was a guy named Ian. He was wildly unproductive and made shitty commentaries on the internet. But people laughed at these videos so he actually felt good about himself. The end. Nah, I'm just kidding. That was uh, a, a joke. Okay, let's go. So this story happened on like a Friday or Saturday night earlier this year. My roommates and I had some friends over for some drinks and we're all having a good time just doing some stupid stuff. But eventually it's time for everybody to head out and so they all get home safe. So now it's just two of my roommates, me and our girlfriends, and we're just like cleaning some stuff up, moving our furniture back in place and whatnot. And one of my roommates went off to bed because he had to get up early and then our girlfriend said they were gonna just crash at our place because they were tired and none of us could really drive. Drinking and driving is bad, don't do it. But anyway, uh, at this point, the only people that were upstairs were me and my roommate, uh, let's call him Tom because that's his fucking name. And we're just cleaning it up and stuff, and he looks over at me and he asks me, like, am I tired? And, you know, of course, like, I can tell where this is going, so I'm like, you know, hell no, because I thought we were gonna, like, play some FIFA or something like that. But, uh, no, Tom had some other plans. So then we proceeded to get shit-faced. And I mean, like, really really drunk. So now I've got this combination of two dudes, one being me who doesn't drink that often and I still like to have a good time though. And then there's Tom who's just like a husky bearded guy who drinks like a 300 pound Russian man trying to put on weight for the winter. That didn't make much sense but it's a metaphor so just roll with me on this one. And before I go any further I just want to say that I, I go to a pretty big football school over here in America and um, me and my roommates we live pretty close to the football stadium that the team plays in and like it's a, it's a pretty big place. I mean it seats like what 60,000 or something like that and the whole town takes it pretty seriously. But that being said it was 2 a.m. Me and Tom were both drunk as a skunk and we wanted to play some football and I don't really know what I was thinking because like sober me would have been like oh Ian this might be a bad idea like you could get caught for uh, trespassing or you get arrested or fined or thrown out of the university or something like that but you know drunk Ian's like you know this is the greatest idea I've ever had like I'll be running up and down this field the coach will probably see me from because he lives there apparently and then you know I'll get drafted or is it draft? I don't fucking know college football, but they're going to put me on the team next year. So apparently sober Ian's no fun. But you know, we're dazed and confused at this point. So the, the stadium's calling us. We're about to sneak in. So we grab our football and we start walking down the street to the sports complex. And uh, the first area that we saw was um, there's this there's this practice field that the team, well, they, they practice on, which is why it's called a practice field. But, uh, you know, we, we got to warm up for our debut. So, you know, we hop the fence and we start doing drills on the practice field and everything. And there's some equipment that was left out. So uh, I would actually pay like a lot of money to see a video of me doing this stuff because I guarantee we were not as graceful as we thought we were but then we run into those things that I, I don't know what they're called like I do not know football at all but there's like those dummies that the uh, team like practices like tackling or hitting or whatever and so they're kind of hard to take down but you know we see them and of course me and Tom are like oh well we're basically division one athletes let's try and fucking ram these things so I ran at it um I was, I was ready to tackle the shit out of this thing uh I tripped hit the ground pretty hard oops um, and it was at this point I realized, like, there's a little grumbly in my tummy, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, alcohol and physical activity doesn't mix, and neither does Jaeger and Jack, which I know from experience. I made a lot of poor decisions that night, but, uh, I, kn I knew for a fact that, like, if I threw up on this turf field, like, they'd CSI Miami my ass and, like, DNA test it and figure out who I was. So I start hauling ass over to the fence again, and I, like, hoist myself over it, like, halfway. Like, I'm almost stuck on this thing and just barf all over the sidewalk on the other side. Like, am I gonna feel a little bit better in the morning now? Probably. But am I gonna feel worse when I realize that little old lady that walks her two 
of corgis each morning has to avoid my drunken mistake. My bad. But anyway, me and my roommate are on a mission, so we gotta continue our journey. We start heading towards the stadium. At this point, we, like, lost our football, but whatever. And as we get closer, we have to, like, go all Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible because, like, there's these little utility vehicles driving around with security guards and stuff. So long story short, we Sly Coopered that shit, hid in a bush. We, we actually had to hide in a bush. Like, that doesn't just happen in movies. But, uh, we uh, got to the area that we had planned our breach, and we figured we couldn't, like, climb the gates towards the main entrance, so our next best bet was um, climbing over this railing and dropping about 15 feet onto concrete. So that wasn't a good idea. And it wasn't because, like, we got hurt during the fall or anything. I mean, we had drunk strength. It's just that the second I actually landed into the stadium, I realized, like, I'm a great faller. Like, I'm an all-American faller. I'm an amazing tripper. All that stuff. I can fall easily. But I cannot jump 15 feet. But, you know, that wasn't on my mind at the time. So at this point, we're in. It's, like, smooth sailing for now. And we just start running down the steps towards the field. And so we're running down the steps. And I was almost at the field. And it this time, it was not me. I looked behind me. And Tom fucking bailed it on the steps. He rolled down, like, six rows of seats. But at this point, it's like, oh, you know. Oh, screw you, Tom. I'm not going to let your slow ass get in the way of these sweet Snapchats I'm about to take because that's what we're doing this for, right? Like, how can you actually break the law and then not notify everybody that's in your social network? But eventually, we do make it on the field and we do like exactly what you'd expect us to do. We pretended to throw touchdown passes to ourselves. We're like doing our dances and everything, running up and down the sidelines. And, you know, this is what my tuition is going towards. But now, of course, it's time for some pictures. So we both like whip out our phones. We're snapping pics of each other and we're just posing and whatnot. What I failed to realize is that between the hours of 2 and 3 a.m., it is a not very bright outside. Like, I took 39 goddamn photos, and you cannot see shit in any of them. You think you know disappointment? No, I, I was pissed. After the fact, of course, because I didn't actually realize it until I got home. But, you know, after we got all the exciting things out of the way, we decided to take a little time out on the sidelines, and that's when everything started going downhill. About three minutes into our rest, I guess we were being a little too loud or something, but we see a flashlight on the other side of the stadium. It's just pointing in our direction. I'm pretty sure the guy also, like, yelled something, but he was pretty far away, so we couldn't really hear him. So it's time for us to get out of here, and so we start running back up the stairs, stumbling back up the stairs. I'm not going to say running at all because I know for a fact that's not what it looked like. So we get back up to that area that we dropped in from and there's like some tables and chairs around there. It's a little patio area and we stack a chair on top of a table. We've got to like walk around half the stadium to make it back on the path to get back to our house. And I'm not kidding. I'm telling you this right now. If you're doing sneaky shit because this happened again, Mother Nature is the real MVP because like when we saw another utility vehicle like turn in a corner or whatever, we hid in another bush for like 20 minutes. Like save the trees because they're saving our drunk asses. But eventually we get home and we of course have to spread the news. So I run downstairs and wake up my girlfriend. I'm like, babe, you'll never believe what me and Tom just did like we snuck into the football field and you know of course she just mumbles back at me like you're drunk go to sleep but wait I've got photos right so I take out my phone I'm like oh no look you got to check this out I got proof but I guess they don't have proof because you can't see shit in any of the photos so <sighs> still salty about that one happy new year